So to jump right into it and the 24th chapter of the Quran and 35th verse, it states, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. The parable of his light is as though there is a niche opening within it a lamp. The lamp is enclosed in a glass. The glass as if it were itself a bright star lit from a blessed tree, an olive neither of the east or of the west whose oil is almost by itself bright, even though fire never touched it. Light upon light. Allah guides whomever he wills to his light, and Allah sets forth parables for mankind, and Allah knows all things. So the universe, in all reality, everything in the universe is light. The universe is composed of light. Light is the essence of the universe, not like this light you see behind me um, coming down from the ceiling. Not that kind of light. As we know, the sun composes hydrogen into helium through thermonuclear fusion, and it radiates magnetic and electric, and it projects light from itself. Light traveling 186,000 miles per second, and it travels 93 million miles to get to us here on Earth, uh, reflected off of the sun, and this light actually causes all the bodies in our solar system to rotate and revolve on their axis at the rate of 1,037 one third miles per hour on their way around the sun. This light is actually photon atoms. Within the photon atoms, there is an essence that generates these currents. This essence is the light. There are, you have light that you can see, like the eyes, our eyes perceive in seven different spectrums. So you have, and those spectrums are actually the spectrums that you can see in the rainbow. And they correspond to the chakra system, which is a system of counter rotating wheels of light, energy, and that makes up the, the physical body the main core of the physical body and on on the a glandular level these seven chakras are actually the seven endocrine glands that secrete hormones directly into the blood to have an effect on everything we do they also correspond with the seven churches of asia um that said in 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 the bible the seven candles and that's mentioned in revelation the seven stars in the right hand that's all also mentioned corresponds to the seven major planets that have a effect on our all uh seven aspects of our system those seven glands those and those counter rotating wheels of light called chakras so these have major effects on us now this light we can perceive as i said seven rays of it you have the seven music notes you can perceive these in seven vibrations and when you start to perceive the higher and higher vibrations you're more receptive to the subtle aspect of this light light composes about visually or what can be seen in in the universes is about 10 percent of the light the other 90 percent you can't see the dark energy and the dark matter and this is actually the light that's making up the universe so when it's mentioned in that a law is the light of the heavens and the earth consider that in al quran kareem Every ayat or verse has, you have the ulma zahir or the knowledge that you can see and 
it's outward, it's expressed, it's manifest, if you will. And then you had Remobatin or the knowledge that is esoteric, the knowledge that is the underlying reality of that which you can see, and that's what is manifested. The subjective plane, if you will. So I'm going to go into it from the ilm al-batinu or the, the esoteric aspect. Considering Allah is cosmic consciousness, the universal consciousness that permeates everything in nature and is the light of the heavens and the earth. Not only the heavens uh, that you see outside, up, up above when you're looking in the earth that we are actually on, but if you consider that cosmic consciousness is actually the light of the mind, the mind is the heavens. As I said, the body is composed of seven different levels and there are seven heavens. There are seven hells. And when you consider the earth, the earth within the earth's atmosphere, there are seven layers and the body is actually the earth. So the mind is the heavens and the body is the earth and the law is the light of the heavens and the earth. The parable, you see, is setting forth an example. Mithalu, an example. The parable of his light is as though it were an, a niche or opening, and within it is a lamp. So when you consider this niche or this opening, consider the pineal gland. The pineal gland is what Actually, this is the the receptacle. This pineal gland, you see this in, in in Genesis when Jacob or Yaqub, alayhi salatu wasalam, peace be upon him, wrestled with the angel Uriel, and he said, "I call this place pineal, for I have seen God face to face." And then his name was changed to Israel because he strived um, with men, you see, in the forces, and he was preserved. So he actually was able to ascend the force of ascension, Isra, the ascension, and El, the force. So I call this place pineal, for I've seen God face to face. The pineal gland is where the actual soul embeds in the body on the 120th day of uh, conception. And the pineal gland is what puts you in tune with the higher frequencies of the universe, the, the rays, the cosmic rays that can't be seen, the gamma rays, the microwaves, um, the radio waves. This is all happening in the pineal gland. When you look at the producers, the medical symbol and there's a rod and then there's two serpents going up this rod a bulb and then wings outspread the rod is actually the spine which is considered in biblical language the river jordan and these two serpents are the electric and magnetic considered in some schools as the eden the pingala or the, the electric and the magnetic or the female and that male aspect of the energy and they rise up the spine when this when the atoms are highly charged they become ions so they're rising up the spine carrying a charge with it now at the base you have this the energy and it's coming up and when it's drawn up in a high content it comes and it illuminates that pineal gland as isa alayhi salatu wasalam or jesus has said or Yahshua has said that when the eye be singular, the whole body is filled with light. This eye is the pineal gland. So the wings are the cosmic conscious that spreads out between the right and left hemisphere. Even when you had um, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he made his Isra wal Miraj, the ascension, the, the animal that he wrote was the Baruch, and you, this, or, and they also speak about the white horse in Revelation. This is dealing with the actual hemispheres of the brain and the, the, how they spread out. 
they're into cosmic consciousness and a complete awareness, you see? So the pineal gland actually has 140,000, uh, 144,000 crystals in it. It is crystal light. So when you um, draw this energy up and it becomes illuminated, it becomes highly charged, then you become connected to every atom within the universe on a conscious level. And this is very important. It says the niche of the opening within the glass, that glass is actually the brain and it was lit by oil. So this, when you consider the cerebral spinal fluid, it is oil that travels up the spine. And when, when it's highly magnetized, it becomes very attractive and is able to give off because the brain is just a receiving set, you see? So when you think of a glass, you ever seen sun shining through the glass, it projects, it projects seven spectrums of light. And these are the actual auric field that's given off by the body, the energy field that covers the body um, like an egg. And the higher your vibration is, the lighter the aura is. And not only that, it's powerful. It, it um, reflects many different things, energies, and it also draws in based on um, how pure the heart is and how open you are and transcending the different levels of the soul or the different levels of being, whether it's the root chakra to the crown chakra or um, the first level of the soul, Nafsi Amara Basui, the evil inciting self, which comes from the base of the being, which is actually governed by the enteric nervous system, which has 100 million neurons and it's responsible for the emotions uh, the eating, loving to eat, loving uh, lust, passions, profane hawa, profane passions and desire, or it's governed by the cerebral cortex, the higher brain. And now as you're getting into um, Nafsi Kamil, or the perfect Nafs, the perfect, the perfected soul, which is, which is the uh, one of the goals. So Moving right along, it says that the lamp is enclosed in the glass or the pineal gland, as I said, is enclosed in the brain. The glass is fit for itself or a bright star. This is when the brain is illuminated and in the neurons within the brain, there's 100 billion neurons in this uh, central nervous system. So when they become illuminated, these neurological pathways they flow in, in a certain way. They are all they are united, no, no longer divided, and is lit from a breath, a blessed tree. And this is an, an olive, which is actually cosmic consciousness. Neither of the east or of the west. So if you consider um, the unity between the right and the left hemisphere whose oil is almost by itself bright, even though fire never touched it. And this would be purification. Once, once you're enlightened and you're, you're in tune with the cosmic consciousness, you know, it's, it's already illuminated. And the fire is purification. When you do the Zikr law, uh, reciting these invocations, this is actually things to purify. It's this way that fire burns off um, go, uh, the dross of gold. So we have to burn off certain um, characteristics or programs within the subconscious mind. Light upon light. Allah guides whomever he wills to his light and Allah sets forth parables for mankind and Allah knows all things. So this light upon light is actually the light of the higher realms upon the materialized light of the physical realms, which, uh, which uh, appears to be physical. Because it's only a lower vibration of that energy. So this is, that's my commentary on that I, uh, my personal commentary. Actually, to even go a little further, within the brain, you have 12 cranial nerves. These cranial nerves um, actually impact all of the functions of the being. 
And these 12 cranial nerves are around the medulla oblongata. When you consider the 24 elders on the throne, this is 12 and 12. And they're circling around the throne of God, which is the pineal gland. So um, as it speaks about in Revelation, the 24 elders who sat around the throne and worshiped God day and night. These 12 cranial nerves um, are impacted by the 12 signs of the zodiac. These were also referred to in mysticism and in the, um, the Bible as the 12 signs of the Zodiac. If you see, consider how Musa, alayhi salatu wa salam, Moses is struck the stone and within that stone came forth, gushing forth 12 springs and everyone drunk from that spring. Or the 12 stones that were laid in the city of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem means founded in peace. This is actually these 12 cranial nerves. And that stone being the pineal gland that will be able to gush forth and um, receive clearly and give off, um, reverberate this light within the 12 different aspects of man, um, these 12 different energies uh, of the zodiac. So these are certain things. And then 12 times 12 is 20, 124,000. So this is the 124,000 crystals. Um, that exists within the pineal gland, you see. So there are many different um, esoteric implications to this ayat, inshallah. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to read from Ahmed Halusi's The Code in the Quran, a unique Sufi perspective. And he has um, elaborated in parentheses on that same verse. So I'll just read it all the way through with his elaborations to bring more light, inshallah. Allah is the nur. Nur is knowledge, life, the essence comprising knowledge or data of the heavens and the earth. The example of his light, the manifestation of his knowledge is like a lantern the brain in which there is a lamp individual consciousness and that lamp is within a glass universal consciousness that glass universal consciousness is like a star made of pearl name compositions given functions according to their creational purposes and he's speaking about the 99 names of Allah or the Ismailahi and these are name compositions according to their creational purposes everyone has its function lit from an olive tree the consciousness of unity within the essence of man so this is the olive tree the consciousness of unity within the essence of man neither of the east or the west free from time and location the tree's oil the observation of the reality in consciousness would almost glow even if untouched by fire or active cleansing it is light upon light the individualized manifestation of knowledge of the names and this is the individualized manifestation of the knowledge of Allah's 99 names Allah the name the various compositions of the structural qualities constituting existence within the essence of man to whom he enables the realization of his nur Allah enables the realization of his nur the knowledge of his reality this is the realization of his nur or the realization of light the knowledge of, the, of, of Allah's reality to whom he wills so he enables the realization of his nur the knowledge of his reality to whom he wills Allah provides mankind with examples Allah knows all as he is all through the qualities of his names so this is Ahmed Halusi's commentary. I'll follow up with a short chapter from Ibn al-Arabi, the um, chapter 18 in the book, The Divine Governance of the Human Kingdom. Great book. I advise anyone to read um, Ibn al-Arabi. They call him Sheikh al Ashbar or the, the great Sheikh, the great God. 
The heading of the chapter is about the mind in the light of certainty that enlightens the heart. The earth does not have its own light. Yet when the sun is reflected upon it, it shines and is lighted. And the sun cannot cast a shadow upon it to darken it. And the sun shines upon the moon, making it visible to the earth. The eye yearns for the source of light, but you cannot look upon it for it will blind you. When you see light reflected upon the earth, it is as if you have seen the sun. Here are three points in a triangle. The sun, the source of light, the earth, upon which its light falls, the moon, which becomes visible with the light of the sun. Know that the physical body, which is the domain of the animal self, is made of coarse matter like the earth. Yet the light of the heart, which is the domain of the human soul, reaches to the furthest corner of the body and from there is reflected upon the mind, where the inner eye starts to see. Just as daylight enables the eye of the head, of the head to see, so heart light shining upon the inner eye makes man worthy to be addressed by his Lord. He says, Allah says, Verily in this message for any that have verily in this is a message for any that has a heart. Surah Al-Qaf um, ayat 37. In this state the senses have no more use. For light by which the inner eye sees is far brighter than that which is seen by the eyes of the head. What is now seen is the awesome sight of the angelic realm. This is the realm of the forces. The light upon light, 